Hey guys, we're gonna continue working on the Slack layout. We're gonna add on to, right now we just kind of have wrappers for divs. We're gonna actually add some content and some props to our components. So here's what the code light looks like for this. And we just have a bunch of styled components. Um, right now, Teams is just CSS and so is um, Messages input. All of these are just CSS. And really what we wanna do is um, change these. So instead of channels like this, I wanna say channels like this, and then I wanna pass in props like the team name, um, the username, and then other stuff like all of these here. So it displays like this. Um, because the way I'm gonna be setting this up is container components and view components, or smart and dumb components. So I want this to be a dumb component where I pass all the props in and it doesn't do any logic. So we're gonna have a team name, a username, then we're gonna have our channels and direct messages. So here are channels, um, which we're gonna pass in an array. And when we pass this in, really there's multiple things we want, right? Um, let's drop this down to a new line. We're gonna be passing in objects with, um, actually not even their name um, but you'll notice these are links right here so you can see that at the bottom and we're going to basically craft the link um, using the ID of the channel so we're going to pass in an ID so of like zero and then we're also going to use we should really use an ID of one and then the name of the comp channel so maybe this channel is called general and then usually there is a uh, random channel so random. So there is our two channels. And then we also want to pass in our users. And here we also want to pass in an ID. So ID of one, name, Slack bot, and then another ID two, name, user one, let's say. Also, eventually, we're going to want to pass in whether the user is online or offline, so we can add these little bubbles. But for now, this is a good start. We'll get to that later. So now, in our channels, we want to take these props and actually make the view that looks like this. So channels, instead of just having this, we're going to say import React from React. And really, we're just going to use this as a wrapper. So let's go ahead and say const channel wrapper is equal to this and then down here we're going to say export default and we're going to take those props and we're going to display it here so really this is just our channel wrapper and this is where all our um, stuff is going to go this is our side panel and then we're going to take the team name and our username channels and users so username channels and users and we're going to display them here so for we're going to have like a div here and this is going to be our team name and our username there's really like three sections to this so you could use three divs um, here you have channels and then lastly you have users down below so channels is a uh, it's not just a you know a string so we can't do this it is an array so we're gonna have to map through it and uh, create an element for each so I'm gonna go ahead and create one up here const channel and we're gonna map channel onto this guy so the channel here is gonna take a ID and a name and then for now let's say this just um, has a list item and the key is going to be the ID and we'll say channel so when you're mapping through you always have to add a key so we'll just have do the channel here so this is a channel and we'll just put the name in for now but this is something for example we might want to style later and Let's make this an ordered list. All 
All right, and now we pretty much want to do the same thing for our users. So it's going to be users, and then we have a user up here. So we'll copy this for now. I'm going to use a uh, list item. So ID and name. This is going to be a user and then their name. And eventually we're going to want to make these links right that they can click on. Um, and so we have our divs. And we also want to hard code some list items, right? Because we always know direct messages and channels, that's going to be there. So direct messages and then channels. And then for now, I'm just going to um, get this gray font that they use for everything and set that as the color. So let's grab the color picker and grab that gray. And then we can see what this looks like. So I'm going to say color. And when I put the color on the div, all these colors in here are going to change to that. So here's what it looks like. We can kind of see the gist of the layout coming together. That's awesome. And now it will actually change based on the props we pass in, which is exactly what we want. So I'm not going to go too in deep uh, styling this right now. Um, we'll get into styling it more in the next video. I want to work on each component, so I also want to change up the teams. So teams is going to be very similar to the channels where we pass in channels we're going to pass in teams and that's really all we need to do right we don't really need to do anything else so this is going to be an array and it's really just going to have an ID and a name so a name is going to be and the name here is not just um, okay it doesn't show it here but with this little side panel they just do initials like TA or just a T depending on what your slack name is so we'll pass in basically the first initial of uh, your slack uh, your slack ID or not ID but the name of the team so if the name of the team was Bob we would want to pass in a capital B here all right, and let's do two of them. So an ID of two and name, this is gonna be a Q, why not? So now on our teams, we're gonna make a team wrapper or react from react. And let's use the same font for now, or not font, color, so it's visible. We're gonna probably change this up to be something different though. So export default teams and we have our little team wrapper right here so team wrapper team wrapper and in here we're just going to have basically a list of teams for now I'll make it a list so teams dot map team. So const team given an ID and really this should be an initial. We should call this uh, yeah, we'll call it an initial. Actually we'll just say letter. That's a better way. Is really just one letter representing the team. So over here, instead of name, we'll pass in letter. And here, what we're going to do is just put a list item. And again, we'll do a team, passing in the ID, and then the letter. And we can see what that looks like on the side here. Uh, we got our B and Q. So we're going to want to make these clickable just like in Slack. 
Um, let's grab the header and these inputs now and fix those up. So let's do the header next. So header, oops, header is really just gonna have the team name and we could pass in like that, but I prefer just passing in as a prop. This is just gonna have, actually it's not the team name, I believe it's the channel. Yep, announcements. So channel. Channel name. Actually we could just put, yeah, why not channel name? So they know we're not passing in an object. And here we'll put announcements. And you know, I'll just do general, because that's the usual one. And actually before we continue, close this off, um, for channels here, notice how we want to do a hashtag in front. So let's add that in to our channels. So every channel has a name and has a hashtag out in front. So do a string template in there and do a space. And let's take a look at that. There we go, so general and random. It doesn't really add the space very well. I think what we might have to do is do an actual hashtag space here. Yep, that looks like more space. Okay, so let's continue with header. So header here, I'm gonna grab this from import react from react. I'm gonna have, I grab the header from semantic UI. So import header from semantic UI const header wrapper. And we just said we we're going to pass in the channel name here. So here we're going to have a wrapper. And then we'll also just show a header. And we can do an h1. I think that might be the default. We'll just have it as that. And we'll put the channel name. And we'll put a hashtag out in front. And I think that one, it was no space there. Okay, and I think we can center this. Um, I believe there's an align property on this. Text align, we'll say center. If not, we can just leave it there, that's fine. Okay, nice, so we have hashtag general there. And let's do our input field for this. So instead of calling this input, I think I'm gonna call this uh, send message or you know what let's actually call, yeah let's call it send message because that makes more sense than calling it input send and also inputs gonna clash so send message and really I just want to say send message and not pass any props in it's just gonna handle itself so import react from react and this we're gonna get from semantic as well. Um, I think it was semantic UI react. And we're gonna say const send message export default. And no props passed in, we're just gonna say um, send message wrapper and then we're gonna put our input that we get from oops put this in front our input from uh, semantic UI and we're gonna make this fluid so it spans um, we're gonna have to pass more props into this guy at a later date so this is controlled but for now we can have stuff and we are actually definitely going to want to put like, whoops, um, message hashtag and then the channel name. So as you switch, notice this goes to health, back to random. So we want ours to do that too. So you could add 
um, pass in the channel name. So placeholder is equal to, and again, we want to add that hashtag in. So we'll do a template here, channel name. Okay. And then I'm just going to add like a margin of 20 pixels. That way it's off the edge here. So we're currently not passing in a channel name. So let's do that channel name. And this is going to be controlled by the state later. But for now, we can just say general. All right, so this is coming together. We can see hashtag general. And actually, I think it, we, say, we say message hashtag. So message hashtag. OK. So the next thing what I want to do is kind of just add styles to each one of these so we can match and make them buttons and add hovers. And then we're going to start creating container classes where we can start actually making GraphQL requests and then showing the data live here. So that is it for this video. We got this set up um, a little bit more of the props and stuff. And we're very close to um, finishing up the design and actually doing some more uh, GraphQL, which will be fun. So code on this will be up on GitHub if you want to check any of it out. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.